Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. This is an adult colouring channel or hobbies channel. Um, the, none of the videos are made for or intended for children. Uh, we discuss adult topics um, and colour adult pictures. Although today we are colouring in the Jade Summer Unicorns Grayscale book, because I promised we would. I'm just going to have a sip of tea, I've got a cup of tea here. Sunday night, Jennifer's in bed, Paul's in bed. I love this book. We're going to colour, whoops, let me just find it, that's the back page. We're going to colour this one. I'm actually going to fold this under just so that it's easier for me. So we're going to use the, the markers, so the RTs that Everblend include, screws them off. And I'm just looking for the colour I want. And I can't find it. No, it's not. There it is. Um, yeah, so we use the RTs that ever blends, and of course, I've got the Touch Fire skin tones, and uh, we're gonna colour in this. I love this book, it's so cute, and I've been looking forward to colouring in this for a while. So, I've been doing lots of colouring this month so much so far, we've still got a good week to go. So far I haven't done as many pictures as I normally do, but that's because I'm doing, although I've done a lot of patterns, the pictures I'm doing are quite detailed ones. So hello to everybody, if you're new here, welcome, thank you for joining, and if you're, you've been here before, thank you for coming back, it's appreciated. So again, I didn't post as quickly as I wanted to. Um, the reason for this is again my my life just uh, takes over and um, gets away from me. Life just gets away. The time just you know even though in here in Wales we're still in lockdown at the moment things may are, are changing so from Monday which would be when you see this video so from today I'm filming this on Sunday, obviously. Um, the sh non-essential shops can now reopen. However, at the moment, we're still restricted to only travelling in within five miles of our home. So where I live, in Risca, which is the start of the valleys, I can't really go anywhere much other than Risca, where I live, um, because the nearest big town is Newport, and that's seven miles away. So technically, it's actually out of, of bounds. So Cardiff is definitely out of bounds. Blackwood is out of bounds. Um, so there's not that many big shops in Risca. There's not many shops in Risca. There is a, there is a, obviously shops in Risca. There's a, a charity, couple of charity shops, and there's a card shop and some other shops. Most of the shops there were hairdressers, beauty salons, and takeaways and of course hairdressers and salons are not yet allowed to open although they're hoping that they'll be able to on 14th of July. I won't be going um, because my hair if I have it cut coloured washed and blow dried takes around three hours to do and I could not sit for three hours with a mask on. So what I might do is just book a cut and blow dry and then when they say why aren't you colouring it I say I couldn't sit there in a mask for that long with my asthma. I wouldn't be able to cope with that, but like for the amount of time it takes to cut and blow dry, I probably could. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We're, we're getting there slowly. I mean, Mark Drayford, the first minister, is being very cautious. Some people think it's wonderful, and some people hate the fact that he's being very cautious. So I'm not going to get into that. Um, it is what it is and we have to deal with it. So eBay sales have been okay. I've got seven going out tomorrow, for, well, possibly tomorrow or Tuesday. I have everything on a very long dispatch at the moment because normally I do it every day. Um, but uh, since this, it's when Paul feels like going down. Oh, I need that cup of tea, I tell you. So it's more than likely going to be tomorrow but it might be Tuesday um, 
so yeah I mean it's just a matter of living with the way it is we have to to deal with the situation we have to we have to just cope at the moment and it won't be forever I mean I'm working from home still I'll be working from home till at least October possibly longer because even if they reduce the social distancing to one meter it's still going to be very very difficult for our office to implement that with the amount of people that we have in our office and it's not just where you sit and work it's things like the toilets and the breakout room what you're going to do have somebody standing outside so that every time somebody goes to the toilet somebody goes in and cleans it I mean it's not practical so how they, they're working on it at the moment if I wanted to go into the office I'd have to contact one of the managers and say I need to come into the office and then they'd do a risk assessment that's the rules so at the moment well, we're not going back they, it was supposed to be the end of July which was great and they've now extended it to the end of September so we'll have to see what actually happens so you know Other than that, we're all fine. Jennifer's brilliant. She's so sweet. She asks for things and she says please pretty much all the time. She doesn't say thank you yet. She hasn't mastered thank you, but she'll say if she wants to get down, she'll be like, down please. She says please because she doesn't say else yet, but she says down please or more please or put that back please, back please or you know, so good please, which is yogurt. Um, waffle, which is waffle, yaya, yeah, yeah, for some reason is um, a program called, yeah, she calls it yaya, yeah, yeah, but it's Andy, and it's either dinosaur, prehistoric, aquatic, or safari adventures. She likes the dinosaur ones the best. So it's Andy's adventures, but for some reason she calls him yaya. Yeah, yeah. It's very cute. And ooh is twirly woos, which is fair enough. <laughs> she's very funny she's lovely mind I got be her. she's the sweetest little girl she's loving being at home with her mummy and daddy I've got to say which is nice she really loves it so her nursery is going back on the 29th but they're not expecting all children back they sent out a well they sent out a letter sort of survey thing saying do you want are you happy for your child to go back and I'm frankly not I don't think it's safe I know they say that children don't seem to get it but I have heard of some ch young children that have died of it and I'm not putting her at risk for anything at some point she'll have to but at the moment it's it's not practical with me not being in the office because her nursery is like opposite where my office is and if she's going back I might as well see if I can go back and work from the office because yeah and I don't really want to I like working from home I like the fact that I don't have to get up at half past five six o'clock get myself ready breakfasted and sorted and dressed and then get her up and get her sorted and dressed and make sure Paul's ready up to go although I don't have to do anything for him he's capable of doing his own stuff it's just it's so much easier just getting up, having breakfast and either getting dressed or not, depending on how you feel. And uh, starting work and getting on with it. That red looks lovely, doesn't it? I like that. That's a good choice. I don't plan my colours. You know I don't. I just grab them when I'm ready. Mm. Oh, this tea is lovely. I don't drink coffee. Um, I, I'm really not a coffee person, but oh, that tea! I got to admit, I have bought so many coloring books this month. Oh, it's terrible! And Deborah Muller's just put out a new one, which is Summertime Fun, and I've ordered that, and it's coming on June. Well, it's estimated to arrive on June 29th, which is my birthday. 
We get paid on the 30th, so I'm not that worried. I've just got money left. So. Yeah. It's going to be a very strange birthday because we won't be able to go out for a meal or go very far. I'll go to my mum and dad's and sit in the garden if it's nice with them. Um, my mum's got to go back to the hospital Tuesday. Uh, for uh, another x-ray to see how her her foot's healing and her wrist so we'll see how that's going I hope she doesn't have to have an operation but if she does she does she, you know we'll have to see poor mummy but she's got a boot on and she's walking about with it you know and she's able to go to the loo and properly on her own and not get up and go outside if she wants to I think she's a bit fed up of it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. If she'd have gone to the hospital earlier, she probably would be fixed by now. But, of course, they advised her not to because of the coronavirus, because it was at the height of the corona scare, was when they first um, locked everything down. So, yeah, anyway, sorted now. So I'm not getting much for my birthday because Paul paid for a holiday, which we're now having to put off for, I think, next year. I think we'll go next year instead. Because um, obviously we can't go. It was only to Tenby, but we like the area, so. But uh, he pays for my Colour in Heaven subscription, so that's like getting a present every month from him. So, And you pay it in two instalments, and it's like, yeah, big, like December for Christmas and then June for the next one so I'm happy with that because I love I love my colour in heavens even the dragon book I'm still working on my dragon it's taking me a long time I'm actually getting there now I've nearly finished it and then I've just got the gold it's sitting on and that sort of stuff to do so I don't think I'll do a background I think I'll probably just leave it as it is I, I really like it though it's looking really good so I'm very proud of that. And the thing is, if I ever decide to do another dragon, I know it's going to take me a long time because I'll want to do it in a similar way to make it look good, even with different colours. I mean, I've never finished a colouring book. I mean, I've got the Sarah K one, which came out in the um, beginning of June. I know the new one's coming out next week, and I've got that on order, which is costumes. Um, but somebody's finished the book I, I I guess that not everybody collects books the way I do um because I don't say right I'm going to just color this entire book before I color anything else I just color what I want and obviously various books like at the moment I've never colored in this one but I, I like this one I want to do a few in it same as the the Chibi Girls Grayscale I love that book I've only done a couple in there but I want to do a lot more and I love the grayscale ones because I can just use the markers and I don't have to do anything else, so. I like the fact that I can just use the markers in it and it's quick colouring, but it still looks good. And, you know, I really like it. I really do. I love the grayscale. The Jade Summer grayscales are really nice. I haven't bought this week's book because they put out Tattoos Volume 3 and I haven't got Tattoos Volume 1 and 2 but I know Grayscale's out and I think I'm getting that for my birthday. Volume 1 is in Grayscale so I'll wait to see if they put out 2 and 3 because again I can use the markers on them. Which would be nice. I've bought a grayscale book this month. It's not as good as I was hoping, but you'll see that in my haul when I do that. And as I think I've got something like, well, I've got 14 books and another two on order 16 and then one from Jennifer, which is the, I think the tattoos one, which is 17. So it's quite a big haul this month. I'm trying not to order anymore. A lot of them again are Jade Summer, but there are some other books in there as well. So there are Jade Summers, but there are other ones. One of the ones that I've got was a pattern book and Paul's colouring in it. 
he still hasn't finished his. But uh, I'll just nick it for when he uh, when we do the because uh, I've done one in it the haul and the flip through not the flip through completed pages and then it's there when he wants it you know. Oh, yeah, I like this colour. I do like these Everblend markers and I will look to replace them when they run out. I know they're looking at trying to do open stock. They do do certain ones where you can buy four, four of the one colour. And if it was, but the, the skin tone isn't in there, the one I want. Which is a shame. So, I hope they do them. It'd be great if they did. Because I love these markers. I use them a lot. What I need to do is I need to get my other markers out, my Touch Fives and some paper. Just a piece of paper. Oh, there's some paper over there. I could do it on that pad. And literally just test them to see which ones are running out and then throw away the ones that are, are running out really badly and keep the others and then I can just use them with the the other blends it's like the skin tone is always a touch five because the peaches and cream one this I've already used it up so I use the barely beige which is a similar colour usually means I'm going to end up with lots of colours that I haven't used but I use them for other things like terracotta I've used for hair before now But I find that with my pencils as well, like with the Black Widows, I've been using Midnight from the Dark Skin Tones on the Dragon picture because it's a really lovely shade of black. And I've also used some of those darker colours for hair. So even though they call them skin tones, they don't have to be just used for skin tones. You can use them for anything else as well. You can use them for colouring other things and, and that's what I do. So. so yeah I was saying about time getting away from me Ugh, last week well on Thursday was it, no Friday and Saturday I was uh, hoping to do a video one of those two days but we did a quizzes again and of course they don't finish till around half ten and then me and Paul have a chat and a drink and a snack and before we get ready for bed and then I, I don't get the chance the only time I can really colour like this and chat to you is when Jennifer and Paul are in bed and I come into the spare room and I get the pens all the pencils out and we have a chat so Friday we did a red dwarf quiz so Obviously, if you're into sci-fi and, and comedy sci-fi, you'll know what Red Dwarf is. This is a lighter red called, tom I think it's a tomato, it's rose red. Yeah, tomato red would be too bright. So it's just, just a slightly different colour. Um, so we did Red Dwarf. We didn't do very well on that, but we did okay, and it was fun. The way I look at it, if, as long as we're not bottom, I'm happy, and we weren't. And then... Last night, on Saturday night, we did the rock quiz, which was really, really random rock from the 50s right up to the present day. And some of it was really hard. And then other bits were easy. And it was really weird because when you do these quizzes, some of the quizzes, they give you bonus points for being the fastest. So in the first round, very first question, Paul's best friend, Paul, his name's Paul too, got it fastest and we were second fastest we got 10 points and we got nine points now Paul, Paul Webb always beats us everything um every quiz he beats us so then in the second round we got two questions the fastest amazingly I didn't think we would um so we got top points for that and then in the third round we got two and then in the, the final round we got two fastest as well and in the final round you got 20 points so it was the very last question very last question we got the fastest and got 20 points for was brilliant because then when they put the, the the full scores at the end his friend 
had was three points below us, we beat him by three points, which was fab. So we were just really laughing at that. It was brilliant. Um, yeah, it was amazing because we've never beaten him and we beat him at that. And it was only because of that very last question um, that I got the answer for and we got it fastest. So uh, this coming week, we're on holiday from Friday. So Thursday night we'll be doing the what is it? The movie quiz, because that's always fun. Not that Paul's any good at movies, but I like them. And I do the music ones because he likes them. And then on Monday, which is my birthday, the 29th, it's the Back to the Future trilogy quiz. So we're going to do that one as well. I just got to get the tickets. I meant to do it today and I forgot, so I'll try and do it tomorrow. Because that'd be fun. And they are good fun, these quizzes. I, I really enjoy them. We have a right laugh. I get so excited. I get really hot and bothered. Mm. It's had a good slug of tea then because mm. so yeah I mean I really enjoy the quizzes they are so much fun if you're in the UK and you wanted to have a go um, the company name is um, Speedy Quiz uh, Quizzes if you go onto Facebook they got a Facebook page and it's Speedy Trivia Quizzes. Um, and the other company that they work with is MB Quizzes. So you buy the tickets via MB Quizzes on Ticket Taylor. Um, never had a problem. We've always had a good time on it. It's definitely worth doing. They're so much fun. So I guess you could do them if you're not in the UK. I can't see why you couldn't. It just depends on the time of day because it's like eight o'clock at night UK time. So that would be like midday in the US in certain places. So, so I'm looking forward to doing the Back to the Future quiz. That'll be a right laugh. I do intend to watch the films before we do the quiz. Right? So, yeah, it'll be a laugh. And then the following week, we're off for a week. Yay! Well, I said it's my birthday. We can't really go anywhere, but we'll go out for a walk every day. Either to see my mum and dad, or just around the canal. Might pop into Risca. I, I mean, I've, normally, if we go away, which we would have, I would put my eBay shop on holiday mode, and I'd put my dispatch time to 10 days, which it's on anyway at the moment because of the delays with Royal Mail. Um, just because of what's going on although it is, seems to be getting better I'll probably lessen it to five days soon so yeah I'm still selling I'm in profit for the month it's going to be a huge monthly profit but I've got two really nice cameras to list they seem to work fine the shutters fire properly and one's got a couple of lenses with it and the other one's got one lens with it so I give them a clean because they're a bit dusty and I'll just list them see what I can get for them because they've got lenses with them it will be a bit more than if it was just body only I mean you can list and some people would say list the lenses separately um, because you'll make more money yeah you can do but I always think that if I was looking for a camera I would be wanting lenses with it I wouldn't want to be buying them separately so there's um, you know hit and miss on both if I've got I mean I'll have a look to see I don't think the lenses will be pretty much worth anything on their own because they're not really good brands they're like third parties which is why it doesn't matter if they were proper brands then yes I probably would sell them separately so for instance I had a Canon I think it was a Canon lens or was it a Pentax lens it might have been a Pentax lens but it was a the, the, it was a very good lens no, it was, it was a Canon one. It was for the... Uh, anyway. And I sold it, for, I think, for £139 or £129 or something. And the whole lot of cameras didn't cost me that much. And I'd already sold a camera from that set for 160 quid. It's just about knowing what we got. So let's have a look at it so far. Looking good, looking good. So, uh, let's have a look. I'm just having a look. 
That's some of these colours. Let me just grab my book. I won't be a sec. Okay, right. Just looking at colours to decide what to do. And zoom back in on the top a bit. And come up here. So yeah, it's just all very, you know, strange. I've got I've still got a lot of cameras I can get listed. It's just I'm I'm lazy. They're up in the shed. I've got to either take batteries up there to test them or bring them down and test them. And I've got cameras down here to have a look at. So I know those two work. So what I'll probably do is look at the other ones I've got down here tomorrow. And as long as I can get them tested and they work fine, I will then um, get those photographed and drafted and then get them listed and then carry on with the rest of it. You know, get those other two done as well. Gives me a break from doing clothing because I'm always doing clothing and clothing's great and that's what I sell the most of but the money is not really there for the brands I tend to sell. But th that's okay. I mean, it's money and it's money I wouldn't have if I didn't do it. That's what I want, saffron yellow. So, I mean, I love, I love doing my eBay. good I don't make enough to quit my job but that doesn't mean say I won't one day the problem is at the moment is because there's nothing open uh, the cameras I've got were from the auctions you see so hopefully though they'll be able to reopen soon and I'll be able to um, have a look at what's going on I mean I register for the auction and then if I buy anything great but if it goes too high I won't and I got a feeling things are going to go a bit high because all the resellers are struggling with stock especially in Wales it's not so bad in England now because obviously England's opened up whether that's a good thing or not I don't know we'll have to wait and see what happens but in Wales we're still quite restricted so we will have to wait and see because um I don't know. It may well be that when they reopen, people won't go mad. They might be sensible and not, or they'll, it'll go ridiculous, or they may think, oh, everybody else is going to be doing it and not bother. Or they'll do what I do, which is register, watch the auction, and if what they're looking at, if there's something they want on there that doesn't go too high, they'll uh, go for it. So we will have to wait and see on that, I'm afraid. Do need to... Uh, do a bit more on the skin where I've missed a bit, but that's fine, I'll sort that out afterwards. I'll do that at any time. Just watch your earrings. Oh. But yeah, I mean I like the auctions, it's fun. It's a bit annoying having to go and pick stuff up, but not exactly like it's 300 miles it's only up the road in Cardiff so I mean I've still got stuff left that I haven't listed yet because some of it is things like board games and while I probably could have sold them I just can't be bothered to look to see if everything's in there because every time I sit down outside to start doing stuff Jennifer uh, we come out she decides she wants to go back in and I'm like I'm just about to start doing something and you want to go back in the house and of course I have to do what she wants so it was just that after bed this evening, when I put it to bed, I went up and had to check for those cameras because it was still nice and light. So, I know they're all right, they just need a bit of a clean. I get a good clean clean the lenses up and everything they'll be fine 
There is a flash as well, so I'll put that in with one of them. Whichever one's worth the most. Because of course it'll only increase the value. I could keep them for my own camera collection, but uh, I'm trying to make money here. That's what I bought the stuff for. enjoying this one. I really love these books and I really love these grayscale. I wish more of them would be out in grayscale like this. The problem is I've got so many of them and I know they are putting them out that I don't really want to buy them again at the moment. That's not saying I won't at some point but they've got so many other books out that I want and there are so many other books that I want by other artists that I I don't really want to buy. Oops, I'm out of focus. Hello, thank you. Of the book again. Because I've already got it. Like I said, I haven't got Tattoo Grayscale and I didn't have unicorns. So I don't mind getting those. For instance, I've got, which one did I get? Kawaii Horror. Now, I'd like that in grayscale, but I have already bought it once. And I'm not sure I want to buy it again. It'll be a while before they put that one out. So I'm hoping that next week will be something I'll actually want to buy, because tattoos I'm not bothered about, but I would get it if it was in the grayscale. So it's just making sure that's her hair and that's now the mane of the lovely unicorn. Oh, we've done nearly 30 minutes, which is fine. We'll do a bit more. We're not going to finish it today because we've still got the lovely unicorns to do. And I'm not sure whether to do a pale pink or a pale blue. Um, don't know. Let's have a look. What about oh, watermelon pink? He'd look nice at watermelon pink, wouldn't he? That's it, isn't it? Watermelon. Yeah, so a quick sip of my tea and we'll do a watermelon pink and then we'll give him a, a rainbow uh, mane and horn. Mm. That is my tea finished. Shame. We'll start at his rear end up here. I just think he'll look nice this colour. I won't be doing much more because I'm getting tired and I've got work in the morning and then we'll finish it off in the next one. So, yes, this is the right colour for him, I think. It'll dry a lot lighter than it is. I haven't asked you yet what are you all colouring what have you been up to what are you colouring what is your favourite kind of colouring at the moment so for instance I never used to want to do dragons and I'm really really enjoying doing my dragon picture at the moment it's taken me a long time because of the way I'm doing it um, because I've got a particular picture in my head of how I want it to look so I'm really working hard to get it as close to that as possible and at the moment it's working quite well So is there anything that you never used to colour or never thought you'd enjoy colouring that you've started colouring and really have enjoyed? Have you tried a new medium and do you enjoy it? And if so, what is it? Let me know, because I might want to try it. For instance, I didn't do much watercolour in, but um, this, the current Heaven Sarah K one, I did some watercolour because it's just screamed watercolours at me. And I did a couple of pictures in that with the watercolours and I really love the way they've come out. So that look I probably just do all watercolouring in. And I really do like the way that those pictures have come out. So 
I'm looking at maybe getting a decent set of watercolour pencils at some point, so I don't know. I don't really want to go and buy the most expensive set. So I'm not looking at getting the Elbrick Duel, which I know is a really good set. I do need to change the battery if I can find it because it's gone red. It won't be a sec. There we go, that's that done. I'll charge that battery back up and we'll carry on colouring our little unicorn in. So yeah, watercolours, I don't really want to spend a fortune and get something like the Elbrick Duel as much as I would like them. Um, I was wondering what the Artesas are like, are they any good? Because I know that, uh, um, obviously I like the Everblend markers and I like the Twy markers. And I know they do a watercolour pencil, Castle Arts do a watercolour pencil. Um, the thing with the W Smith is they are only 36 and I know you can blend them but I would like a, a larger palette set so. Any recommendations let me know down below that would be really helpful. So I'll go up here and do this part now. So we'll just do um skin of the unicorn and then we'll call it a night because I've got to work in the morning. And I'll try and do another video soon. I'm not going to say when because you know what I'm like, I get distracted or busy with something else and I, I can't get it done but I will do one before the end of the week. I've nearly finished the picture I'm doing with the Crayola, so I'll be starting my Crayola uh, pencil review soon. So I will look forward to doing that one. I've just got to choose a picture for it. Um, finish the one I'm doing. I haven't got much left to do. And then I've got two to show you. And I can get started on that one. And then after that one, oh, I'm getting a bit stiff. Uh, we will do, I might do a Sarah K picture with the W. Smith watercolours if you'd like to see that. A proper proper review of how to how I use them rather than just the Beauty of Horror picture I did before. Um, I've got the Faber-Castell Classics and the Marco Ruffines to do. So both of those, well not so much the Faber-Castell Classics, I've done a few pictures with those. But I do want to do uh, one with the Ruffines just to um, make sure that it's right that it looks right because it's um I haven't got many and it's been a long time since I've used them so I'll probably do those next month start on using the Rafines next month for you And as always, I'll use a Colour in Heaven book because I find that every single medium I use works well on that paper. The quality of their paper is so good. Um, the Black Widows work on it, the Prismas work on it, the Polys work on it. Um, all the different markers work on it. They, so I'm thinking it's a good quality paper to, to show you on. Although the pictures that I actually colour generally to show you can be from various books. So for instance, uh, the one I'm working on is Weddings by Jade Summer with the Crayolas. And the other one I have done is, is a Colour in Heaven book, so. The Faber Castells I've done, I've got to think, to be honest. I know I did a Selena Fennec picture of her book in there. I can't remember what the other one is, I'll have to have a look through it, I'll know when I see it. It wasn't that long ago I did it either, it was probably a Colour in Heaven book to be honest. But, uh, and as I 
use them more. I get better at using each of the pencils. So with every picture I do with the Black Widows, I get a little bit more brave with, for instance, the skin tones and trying a bit more. Um, and the same with the um, other pencils. I will have to try a dark skin tone. And what I'm thinking is if it's really bad, I just won't show it to you. But if it works out really well, then of course I'll show you. I just don't want to offend anybody, especially at the moment. And then I think maybe it's worse that I, that I don't, you know, that it, maybe I should do something because maybe it's offensive that I don't use darker skin tones. I don't know. I don't want to alienate anybody. I just don't want to upset anybody. Oh, do you know what? It's such a minefield these days, but uh, it'll work out. It's something I do need to practice because I've got so many books with beautiful pictures in it that for darker skin tones. And I haven't used them. And some of them are like Colour of Heaven, like the world princesses around the world or whatever it is. World of Princesses. There are some great ones in there. I'd love to do them. So. I might watch a few tutorials on that actually. So there will be. Yeah. Out there. So there we have a watermelon coloured unicorn. There we go. That'll do for now. Oh, I'm stiff. And it's getting on. We've done about 40 minutes, I would imagine. So I'll show you what we've done so far. It's all very red and pink at the moment. As you can see, it needs to dry off. Um, so that's what we've done so far. So obviously in the next um, episode, we'll do the grass, we'll do the mane and the bow, the eyes horns or oh, haven't done her ears I'll do that now before we uh, go and obviously I've got to finish off the princess do her eyes and her scepter and all that stuff and the jewels do her ears there we are and uh, yeah I'm going to get another drink and chill out for a bit read my book before going to sleep. This is Monday tomorrow. I've got four days before my holiday. So I hope you've enjoyed this first instalment of uh, Unicorns Grayscale by Jade Summer. If you have, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends if you think they might be interested and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.